Hey guys, this is Kenny over at LearnHowToGrowSprouts.com and today I'm going to talk about sunflower sprouts nutrition. Now, sunflower seeds I love, but did you know you can sprout these little guys? And these provide some incredible health benefits. Now today there's all this talk about calories and how you lose weight is the number of calories in versus the number of calories out and all that kind of thing. Um, I really like a book uh, entitled Why We Get Fat. You can just do a search for that on Amazon, why we get fat. And they talk so much about uh, how that whole theory has been debunked. That it's not just the number, but the type of calories that you eat. Now, fat is not bad for the body. In fact, the body needs fat. And your body can even, uh, you can lose weight while eating good fat. Sunflower seeds have these types of calories and they have the right kind of fat. Um, you can see what these are like. Now this, this is uh, an instance where you can grow um, sprouts, uh, sunflower sprouts on this, uh, it's a type of webbing. And some sprouts you can just sprout uh, in a bottle, and this, but these require a special type of webbing. And you can learn about that over at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com. And the reason that uh, the sprouts are high in calories is because they contain a lot of dietary fat. And they're, it's, a, it's a very calorie-dense nutrient. One ounce has 14.5 grams of fat, but just 1.6 whoops, of saturated fat. And so this is unsaturated fat. It's beneficial, helps your body absorb nutrients, and may help manage cholesterol levels. So that's been proven to be the case now. And so... Uh, don't rule these out. Now, here's another way that uh, you, can, you can just get a simple um, uh, like recipe dish or container, and you can put, uh, oftentimes you can use like paper towels along the bottom, put the seeds on there, and they'll just sprout right like this. It takes uh, about a week to grow to that, to that level. Now, this is a great snack choice because uh, unlike other convenient foods, you know, like chips and granola, they, they're low in carbohydrates. Now, um, each ounce has 3.5 grams of carbohydrates. Now, a lot of people who uh, who are wanting to eat a higher protein diet and eliminate a lot of these damaging carbs, you're going to find that these are an excellent uh, alternative to uh, to some of the other just easy grab type foods that kill us. Let's talk about fiber for a minute. It provides about one gram per ounce, and it's important for optimal health. It can help you manage your cholesterol and blood sugar levels and promotes a disease-free digestive tract. You know, a lot of people don't realize that you get sick because of your colon. There's a lot of uh, different bacteria that are healthy and grow within the colon, but oftentimes you can get damaging bacteria there as well and uh, people don't have the right diet or or eat the right kinds of fibers to cleanse out your colon you can uh, you can continuously get different types of flus and sicknesses and immune deficiency challenges super high in protein protein rich each ounce has eight grams of, of protein and of course protein has amino acids which uh, facilitate tissue production and enzyme and hormone function and the National Institute of Health recommends eating at least about a gram of protein for each kilogram of your body weight every day. That's the way to do it here folks. Uh, you want to learn more about this you can sign up for my free course over at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com and I look forward to seeing you over there. Until then, ciao!